So we have our 2002 Honda Accord here on the lift today and Cassandra was so nice to point out that this car is actually supposed to be derbied in about three days and I only have the interior out of it. So what we have to do is this is going to be one of Impact Motorsports bone stock shows and it's going to be a very easy build. I might not even get time to put a cage into it because I work those three days. We're just going to cut the exhaust here cut the hangers out we're gonna drill a hole into the gas tank right here and then once the holes drilled and the gas is drained out we're gonna stick the saws all through and cut this part out of the gas tank and then uh, we're just gonna notch the rear frame rails we can't pre-bend but um, like I said this is gonna be a very very quick build and uh, it's gonna go to Brooklyn and hopefully I can have all these videos up before Brooklyn even happens so who knows, but let's get going on this because uh, time is one thing I do not have. Now with the bottom of the fuel tank cut out, all you do is remove this cover right here, like so, and then I believe it's about uh, 6 or 8 10 mil bolts holding the fuel pump in, and once you remove the fuel pump, that's good for them. Yup, there they are, all the little uh, fuel pump bolts, and then disconnect the fuel lines. Just trying to get the connector off. Oh, there you go. Fuel pump's out, time to move on to the windshield, so you guys know the routine, put a hole, grab the sawzall, and let's go! Now it's time for my favorite window, this one. Oh, that looks awesome. Let's get this one cut out now. comes the thing that I hate most about breaking glass in a vehicle, so that's vacuuming it up. Now, you guys should really put some effort into vacuuming up your vehicles because a promoter can actually make you not run a vent because of broken glass inside your car. Like, there has going to have to be a lot, but usually when I vacuum, I do all my welding, all my bumper swaps, all that fun stuff, and then I vacuum again. So we're going to vacuum the front and the back of this and then uh, start from there. Once the glass is out, the next thing is the front window bar. We just went outside and stole this one off the Mazda because the Mazda's dead, so this might as well live. And kind of steal from one to feed the family, I guess. Mazda gave up its life, so this Accord can quickly be pieced together from like some derby car Frankenstein.
So after installing the window bar, what we did was we ran the fuel lines, hooked them into the stock fuel line location, ran them all the way back to a fuel tank. I had some problems finding fuel lines that would be long enough, so I didn't really shoot it for the video, but realistically all I did was hook up fuel lines, super easy to do. I installed my gas tank holder. I am running a very small gas tank because this is a four cylinder and i am kind of got a lot of gas tanks in cars, so that's a a nice spare tank that I can put. The one out of the Mazda does not have a return line, so it will not work in this Honda. Um, we got the battery box installed. This is out of that Mazda as well. We got the power cable ran up to the front. We have the ground grounded as well from the factory terminal location. Uh, we'll do a little bit more cleaning up of wiring underneath here. We ended up cutting a spot up here for the fuel line and battery cable to go through. I'm going to wrap all those in clothes because it is a sharp edge old rags, t-shirts, some zip ties, some duct tape, so that way it doesn't cut the fuel line or cut the battery cable. We haven't gone inside this fuse box right here, but that's on tomorrow's list of stuff to do, is to hardwire the 100 amp and hardwire the 50 amp service uh, across those two terminals, because those are a quite a big issue with these cars, is blowing those, those fuses. So we'll do that tomorrow. I'll show you guys how I'm going to do that. Um, we did get the cage cut out of the Mazda, but we haven't even got it carried up here yet. That might be tomorrow, not 100%. I do want to throw the battery in here and get this thing running on this fuel tank to make sure everything's okay before I go too, too much farther. But it's getting to be 9 o'clock at night. I haven't eaten dinner. Cassandra's probably hungry inside, so I'm going to close up the shop and head into the house and cook some dinner for us. And uh, I'm... A little bit nervous because of the deadline I put on myself for this car because I really thought this was not this Thursday, I thought it was next Thursday. So honestly I've only got realistically two days left to build this car and the plans are a cage, cover up the, the sunroof, um, clean up electrical, fuse panels and bumper swap because I am allowed to do a bumper swap and I want to use the Mazda bumper, I really want to use that bumper to see if I can actually bend that bumper on the front of that because I've been actually using that bumper to pull the car around now with the seized tires and it's still not bending. So we'll cut that off and we'll clean it up and see if we can get it welded to the front of this. And uh, hopefully tomorrow we get a little bit more done on this car because we are running out of time quite quickly. But thanks for watching Zach's Workshop. Uh, this 2003-2002 Honda Accord is going to be done soon. Hopefully she makes it to Brooklyn, boys and girls. Take care and see you guys later.